Hi, it's Mike at Phase One. Today, I'm going to show you a product that's not a new product. It's not particularly an exciting product. But let me tell you, this little thing here, I can't live without in the shop. I use it all the time for doing demonstrations in the shop. We use it a lot for in, use it, uh, when we make the videos for the lighting. And I think it's just a really useful piece of kit. It's just a little DMX controller and it's called an SDC824. And I'm going to give you a run through of why I like this product so much. It's a simple little thing. It just works. I like things that just work. Ah, I hear you cry. Not DMX. I can't do DMX. It's too complicated. I'm not going to watch this video because I don't understand it. Right. So what have we got here? We have got a little DMX controller. It's not a programmable controller. So if you're looking for a product that you can program up and set scenes and get it to remember all the bits and bobs and fizzy wizzy things you want it to do, this is not that. This is a very simple DMX. Yes, I said simple DMX. I can only control one fixture or groups of the same fixture. So if I've got, let's say for instance, four American DJ pocket spots, I could control four American DJ pocket spots from this but I couldn't add on the end two other fixtures. We're only going to be able to control one group and we're going to have very limited control as well. But when we do our videos in the shop of moving heads and things like that and when we do our demonstrations of moving heads in the shop, we like to be able to show the gobos very quickly, we like to be able to show how bright it is and we use this product. This is also great for controlling power cans, so LED power cans very simple to control but again we can only do products that are the same so I could do eight LEDJ 7Q5s no problem I could control them but I couldn't stick on the end of my DMX chain a Chauvet slim part it wouldn't work we would need two of these so this is very limited to what it can do I'm going to get a moving head out and we're going to get some power cans out as well and I'm going to show you how I use this product. Yes, I said simple DMX. Simple DMX. Right, so this is an LEDJ 7Q5RGBW power can. And we're going to set this up with this, my favourite little controller, simply, yes, simply using DMX. The first thing you're going to need is the instruction manual to the fixture you're going to use with the little desk that we're showing you. In this instance, it's the instruction manual for a slimline 7Q5 and a 5Q5. So you want me to read an instruction manual? I read an instruction manual? You blow my mind. So, as we know, Every lighting fixture comes with an instruction manual and as typical users, even myself, we don't like reading instruction manuals but this time we need to have a look and we're looking for the DMX chart. Now this particular unit can be used in 2 channel mode, 4 channel mode and 7 channel mode. I'll explain how that works in a second but for the purposes of this video we're going to keep it simple and we're going to put our fixture into 4 channel mode. Right, for this particular instance, we're going to use a 7Q5 RGBW and we're going to put it into 4 channel mode. Each channel represents something on the unit. Channel 1 is going to represent red, channel 2 is going to represent green, channel 3 is going to represent blue and white will be represented by channel number 4. You will need to put your can into address number 1 because that is the only address that we can use with the SDC824 Simple DMX. Simple DMX. I said Simple DMX. Right, so one of the first things we need to do is we need to put our can into the correct channel mode. So, we're going to press the menu on the back. And we're going to scroll through the menu till we find our address mode so it's actually there at 512 we're going to enter setup it's currently in seven channel mode we're going to put it into four channel mode and then we're going to address it 
to 001. Job done. Now, I know this is using an LEDJ Slimline 7Q5 RGBW, but the same principle applies to most fixtures. But again, we're going to have to read the manual. <gasps> right, what we've done is we've taken an XLR out the back of here and gone to the DMX input on the back of the cam. Simple. We've put the master volume up, master slider up, sorry. And then what we're going to do is that's the red on channel one, green on channel two, blue on channel three, and white on channel four. Dead easy. Now obviously we can mix between these as well so we can get different colours and shades. So really this would work with any set of power cans. What he can't do is he can't program it to do chases and things like that. But if you're doing a simple uplighting job and you just want to control the same fixtures and you want to control 20 of these, all addressed as one, you would just use this. Very, very simple. But you can also use it with other things. The next thing I'm going to show you is it working with a moving head. Right, well that was easy. Let's get a little bit more complicated. Now we're going to put this onto a moving head fixture. And to show you how I can take control, very simple control and limited control, but of every single channel that this particular unit has to offer. This is an Equinox Midas spot, and it has three channel modes. It has channel one mode, and then 10 channel mode, and 13 channel mode. Now obviously we can control more aspects of the unit and more functions on the unit using 13 channel mode. But this is a bit unusual, this product. One channel mode is basically, it will let, let you access all the show modes. And I'm going to show you how that works as well on this video using our little simple DMX controller. Well, what we'll do, let's get it fit up and let's decide what channel mode we're going to put it in. Right, so we're going to put our moving head into 10 channel mode and we're going to address it 001. Channel 1 is going to represent the pan, channel 2 represent the tilt, channel 3 the pan and tilt speed, channel 4 the master dimmer, channel 5 is going to control the strobe, and channel 6 is going to control the colours, which I'll come to in a second, and channel 7 is going to control the gobos. Channel 8, gobo rotation, gobo, and channel 9 is going to control the prism, and focus is going to be controlled by number 10. Now when it comes to the colours, there's obviously lots of different colours in this unit and there's lots of different gobos. Let me show you on the desk how that will be represented. So coming back to our little control unit, each fader goes from the top, from the bottom to the top. The bottom being 0, the top being 255. Now according to the DMX chart, for this particular unit, channel 6, when it's on 255, right to the top, will give us a colour scroll anti-clockwise. So every segment down here represents something else. So if we went to, say, between 72 and 83, it will give us blue. Now it's a little bit tricky on this desk because you haven't got 255 little segments and you haven't got a digital readout to tell you exactly where you are on the fader. But when I show you it working on the actual fixture, it is quite easy to use. Now also this works for the gobos as well, because channel 7 controls the gobos and we've got between 0 and 255. Now, this also means that around about, let's go to say, between 12 and 23, it's going to be gobo number one. And again, I'm going to show you that working on the fixture and it'll all make sense. I hope. Right, we've put our moving head into address number one and we've put it into ten channel mode like I explained on the chart earlier. We've connected our little simple controller. Remember, we have to address this as one. This particular little unit is a very, very simple controller. And it's very limited, we can't program, but we can take control of our fixtures. So now, as you can see, I can turn it round. 
and I can pan it up and I can now access all the fixtures, all the features of this particular fixture. So if I put that up full, now we've got some colour. What we're going to do is go and project this against the wall and I'll show you how I can access all the other bits and bobs. So we've got our moving head plugged into the desk and we're going to start moving the faders around that we talked about on the channels on the chart that we showed you earlier. Right, so going to fader number six, we can start to select our colours. Now I'm just slowly moving them up and we can see we can scroll through the colours. And the colour splits and all the features that that channel strip on the little controller gives us. I think when we get right to the top, we will get a colour scroll, so that's right to the top, and I'm pulling it back, it will slow it down. So there's a lot of features on that one channel strip, but it's not hard to take control of it. I can get that into one colour, no problem. And then our next fader will be our gobos. And again, I can select, going through those, each one individually. As I get further up the fader, it has different functions, which there's a gobo shake. I go right the way to the top, and we've got a scroll, and I can pull it back, and it will slow it down, because that's one of the features on this channel strip. So, dead easy to select a gobo and select a colour. Oh, there's one that I think is out of focus. So we'll go and find our focus. Now that will be on the second page. And now you can see I've got hold of the focus. Out of focus. And that works great. Going back to our gobos. Back to our focus. So we have got control of every feature of that head. We've even got control of the prism. And we've even got control of the rotation, which was on 8. speed it up, I can slow it down, I can make it go the other way. All on that one channel strip on channel number 8. So we do have very simple control. Right, so it's a very simple DMX controller. You can't program it. All we've done there really is take individual items and created a scene. If you wanted to create several scenes, so let's just say we wanted that moving head that we've just looked at in there, pointing at the wall with a stars gobo, and we wanted to save that as a scene, we'd have to have a programmable desk. This is not a programmable desk. Also, if we wanted to link that moving head into the power cam we had earlier, we couldn't link them and control them from here. Wouldn't work. But you could come out of here and go into 10 of the par cans, no problem, and change the colours like we did. You could also take two of the same moving heads and they would copy each other. Now what would I use this for? Well, I think it's a very simple control for a lot of LED pars and LED washes. I think it makes it really, really simple. If you just want to wash a colour into the, the room using your pars or you want to uplight, this will do the trick. Will it do colour fades? No. However, some pars and some fixtures will have a channel that will be designated to the programs that are built in. So you will be able to find that on the DMX chart. You're going to have to read the instructions. And let's just say, well, we were using four channel mode. And let's just say, if it was five channel mode, this may select the built in programs and fades. And this one might speed it up or slow it down. So you can use it. It's very versatile. Up until a point. We can only control items up to 24 channels. And we have to have our master dimmer. 
up. Other things that we could use this for, I know um, if you wanted to put a gobo on a wall with a moving head and select it and just leave it there, it would work and you'd be able to do it. So say for instance at the beginning of a wedding that you wanted to project some hearts onto the floor now you would have to have because you've got to think about this you would have to have your moving heads above you and then you could point them down both because they're both going to point the same direction if we pan them to the left they're both going to go to the left so you won't be able to bring them in because you can't invert them so you are limited to what you can do with this but it will give you some simple control also if you remember earlier i said with that particular moving head the equinox midas it has a one channel mode, so you can stick it into one channel mode. The, and it has very limited access because you're only going to be able to use this fader. But with that fader, because this, that unit has one channel mode, you can access show 1, show 2, show 3, show 4, show 5, show 6, show 7 and 8, and a forward facing show. So you could actually select different shows. Now that's just a bit of an unusual product, so maybe it might be interesting if you start looking out for some fixtures that do have a one channel mode. Right, so what have we learned today? That was the SDC 824, a very useful little tool. But we must remember, it's a very simple DMX controller. Very simple. All the addresses have to be one. Channels equal fixtures features so we need to go and find out what each individual feature is and which channel it's on which will be represented by a slider on the controller all the fixtures that you're going to link together because you can link several together like i said earlier must be the same read the manual for the fixture for the dmx chart i know we don't like reading manuals i don't like reading manuals but you must read the manual. It cannot be programmed. It's not a programmable desk. DMX is not witchcraft. You've just got to give it a go. Don't be frightened of it. Subscribe to our channel because this year we're going to do some more tips and tricks. And we're going to step into the realms of DMX programming. But we thought we'd start here. So subscribe to our channel. And finally, always subscribe to our channel. If you want more information on pricing on that particular controller, click the link in the description and it will take you through to our website. Thank you. Mike at Phase 1.